G'day guys, we're on a four month adventure camping and exploring some of the most remote and wildest parts of Australia while living from the land and sea. So we've just pulled in at the main beach here and we're greeted by all these sharks. How cute is that? Oh, this is an awesome spot. Oh yeah, gold spot trevally. We finally met at further field than ever before. Yeah, how exciting guys. It feels like we have found absolute paradise, but the thing that attracted us out here isn't the beauty above the water, it's what we're hoping lurks beneath the water out there. So that's what we're gonna do this morning, hey? Yeah, let's go check the underwater world out together. Can't wait, let's do it. The first thing we noticed when we pulled in here is there's all these big sharks right in the shallows. It must be mating season because they're all kind of coupling up at the moment. There just seems to be so much life and that is a good sign. Hopefully out beyond the drop off, there's even more life, but check these guys out. How cute is that? So these are a tawny nurse shark uh, and these guys are a mating pair here. You can see the female's got all those kind of wounds on her gills and on her peck fins. That male there, he gets pretty rough once it's time to get frisky. So there's another couple over there. This seems to be the spot where they all come in and, and uh, get it on, make a bit of love. The water looks nice and clear this morning, which is a really good start. So we're just going to sort of putt out towards the reef edge, gear up with wetsuit, mask and snorkel, and then that's where we're going to jump in. It looks like there's some really nice coral bommies just on top, which can hold really good fish. And out behind it, that's that drop off right there. Drops off quite, uh, quite steeply, nice and deep. So. We're going to check these out and then venture off the edge and see what's lurking down there. Worst part of the day, putting a wetsuit on. How was that, Fran? See some nice oh, fish? so nice. Nice, eh? So many trout. Yeah. The turtles everywhere. Yeah, it's yeah. awesome, eh? And the golden trevally are cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're changing colors. Yeah, nice. Oh, what a beautiful swim there, hey? And there was just so many coral trout to spear, but we are after a new species. We've now officially left Queensland waters, which opens up a few new species we couldn't take previously. One of them being the Maori wrasse, uh, and there was a beautiful one there. I was actually trying to sneak up on him through the coral trout. There were so many trout that were in the way, but the, the Maori wrasse are actually quite smart, and um, he was far too smart for me. At some of the spots in Queensland, in the touristy areas, these, these big wrasse get fed, and they, they appear really, really friendly, which is cool, but it's, it's not natural at all. So out here, where they're not protected, they're actually a very smart fish. So. Anyway, they're going to be a, a challenge for us while we're out here. And a lot of the old timers, including my dad, reckon they are the best eating fish in the ocean. So if we are lucky enough to take one, I'm really looking forward to the cook-up that will follow. Keen to move spot, Fran? Yeah, let's do it. Oh, here, it was almost like all the animals here hadn't really seen a swimmer before. Like the turtle was so friendly and all those golden trevally were just coming and like swimming around us, eh? So the next spot? Let's do it. I just dropped Jack in and it looked like there was some fish on the bottom. Hopefully. It's just an isolated bunny. No good? Oh, there was a few nice sized Spanish mackerel that were too big for us to eat. And then below them, no there was way. a. Yeah, but there, below them, there was a lot of sharks. Oh, wow. Yeah. But um, nothing, nothing for us here. We'll move on. Third spot. Mm. 
Oh, this is an awesome spot. This is beautiful, hey? Yeah. Look at these three big trout. Look at his spots. So good. That was so nice. That was awesome, mate. Eh? Yeah, we're making our way back home now. Yeah, we got some fresh fish. We're happy. The hardest thing about where we were spearing today is choosing what we were going to take. Like, there was the big Spanish mackerels and the big cobias that we we saw that would have been amazing, but they're just so big, you know. So I ended up opting for a new species, the passion fruit coral trout. You can see he's got the biggest spots all over him and underwater he was actually next to a common coral trout. You can see the different coloration in the footage. Uh, these guys are, are meant to be a lot harder to hunt, but this guy kind of must have thought he was a common trout because he was... Um, yeah, <laughs> he, in the same. Yeah, he, he wasn't too challenging. The reason I always gut these trout and not other fish when we cook them whole because they've just always got full stinky guts. He's eating a little fusilier there and you don't want that leaking all through the meat. All right, so now in the back to basic beach kitchen, we got a new species, the passion fruit coral trout. And then we got a butter squash slash pumpkin damper. Nice. So we never done this before and fingers crossed it's gonna turn out good. So for the damper, you're going to have to cut the pumpkin or butter squash in cubes, wrap them in aluminium foil, put them on the fire until they're cooked, let them cool down and then mix them up with the flour until you got a uniform loaf and add some salt, olive oil, yeast, let it rise for an hour or so, the, the more the better and then on the fire. Nice. Time to get that trout cooking. So we're just gonna pull some coals out. And if you guys have ever watched an episode of, of us on the castaways or on Back to Basics, I think you'll know this recipe. Just put the fish straight on the coal. <laughs> Simple, but effective. Jack's favorite. My favorite. All right, ready to go. Look at that, beautiful. The damper has entered the arena. What a sunset. What a sunset tonight. You've been working on this all day, Fran. I hope for your sake it's turned out how you wish. It's like a kid on Christmas here. Yeah. Ready. Oh, wowee. Surely that's what you're hoping for, eh? Yeah. Oh, we'll have to taste it. Nice. That looks perfect, Fran. Oh, wow. Perfect. Crunchy on the outside and soft in the inside. Mm, yum, it's yum. It's really hot. Hot? Ooh, wowee. Nice. Perfect peel. Yeah. That was satisfying. That was very satisfying. Final touches. Pinch of salt. And olive oil, of course. Perfect. Let's try it. 
Okay, stats. Delicious. Yeah? yeah. Well done. Alright, the meal rating I'd say four out of five. Yeah. Very nice. And difficulty usually passion to try I would say almost four out of five. They're very shy. Mm. And this one unfortunately wasn't. So unfortunately for her. And fortunately for us. <laughs> <laughs> so um, this one was uh, two out of five. <laughs> all right, all packed up camp. Now off to the next island. What's going on, Jack? Just having some maintenance issues. We're leaking water. Uh, at the top here and our coolant temperature is way up. Basically, I'm not sure what exactly is wrong, but I'm going to do a little bit of tinkering. We are all ready to rock and roll. Our time here was pretty special, but we've got plenty more islands to check out. And actually, where we are going to next, where we're hoping to get to, could be right at the top of our bucket list. It's a pretty special spot. Hopefully, we get there today. You excited, Fran? Very. Let's do it. Still a long way to go. Yeah, for sure. This one was up there with our favourite island we've visited so far. It's a pretty beautiful spot. Made even more special by the, the underwater life just offshore here. And I've got a feeling the further we keep going, the better it's going to get. We've just been cruising and it's been deep water everywhere. Until right behind us here. There's this reef that comes up out of super deep water and it just looks bloody magic, hey? So there's a, a few bait fish on the front edge of it, so we're going to cast a popper in and I've got a good feeling there's going to be a bit of action here. This looks sick. So we do need to catch something today to bring us a thank you gift for having us. And Jack is trying his best. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yes. Yes. Oh yes, yeah. definitely on, big time on. Woohoo! Just had the feeling that first cast here, there was going to be some action, and sure enough, oh man, this is no, no, what happened? All right, let's try that again. Re-rigged, back in the sweet spot. Let's see if there's any other ones there. Oh, that's a shark. Oh no! Get away! Oh, what was it? Yes! Got something! Oh no, sharks! Sharks! No, no, no! no. Oh, sharks are all... Bloody hell, the shark's got that fish. Oh. Oh, look at all this. What is it? Oh, shit. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> oh what's that? That's a big GT. What? Yeah, huge GTs. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is... This one's not as... Not one of the big ones. No. I want to see what it is though. Oh, yeah, yeah look like a little traval medium trevally, eh? Yeah. The fraction of the size of some of the other big boys down there. Oh. It's a um. Oh, golden trevally. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we'll bring this one in. These guys are nice eating. A gold spot trevally. These guys are actually pretty nice eating, so we're going to take him in as a bit of a, a peace offering. All right, it's time to jump in. I'm pretty excited for this, in case you couldn't tell, because there's just so much action down there at the moment. I'll uh, strap you to my head and take his down. We're hoping to shoot like a really prized fish down here to take in. See how we go.
So we've just pulled in at the main beach here and we're greeted by all these sharks and then there's schools of bait fish in the shallows. This place is paradise, hey, the water is so clear. We're catching up with a mate here to say good day and we're gonna give him that Spanish mackerel we caught earlier. Bye guys! <laughs> I'm so excited. We, we are almost there. We made it. We're almost there guys. So this entire trip was based around getting to this island here. This is what instigated the whole thing and we're, we're almost there guys. It's been a long couple of months but man we're excited hey. Yeah. Let's go, let's go, let's go pull in. <laughs> we've just made some new friends on the beach there and we're feeling pretty overwhelmed with um, gratitude at the moment that they have given us blessing and permission to go and actually set up camp on one of these other really sacred islands. So um, this is gonna be pretty special guys. We'll, we'll show you more once we get there. Let's go check it out. It's turtle nesting season at the moment and this is like a rally course of turtle tracks. This place is absolutely magic. Yeah, it's amazing. Yeah, man. it's so nice. Out of respect, we are going to turn the cameras off and ask for the ancestors' blessing and to keep us safe while we're here. Yeah, we're gonna have a bit of a moment with them tonight, guys. It's a pretty sacred site, but tomorrow morning we'll have the cameras rolling and I've got a feeling you guys are gonna love this place. So, yeah. see you then. See you next Sunday. Hope you enjoyed the episode, guys. For behind the scenes content and early and ad-free episodes, you can join us on Patreon, and that also helps fuel these adventures. Otherwise, we'll see you next Sunday for the next episode. Cheers, guys. Thanks again for watching.